Hello everyone, it's Mankator here today. I have a headache. We're going to show you very quickly why you should be careful while placing your fireplace. Your fireplace is a new item that generates in the world. You can craft it by using an automatic crafting machine, which I will show you where it exists. The automatic crafting machine is made by using three iron ingots and a crafting table. So let me just get the crafting table and three iron ingots here. You get the three iron ingots, you get the crafting table. And then bada boom bada bing, you have a crafter, but it sparks a bit, so it might bite. You put that on top of a dropper, and then you uh, make some recipes. The recipes are right here. We're just going to mainly focus on the first page right here, which is the fireplace, which is weak. Two sticks, a, stu two sticks one coal, one slab of cobblestone, and yeah. You can self-destruct these fireplaces, but for now, I'm going to show you the recipe that it is required to make the stuff. So... We need, we need two sticks, a coal, and no slabs are here, I believe. Yes, they are. They are here. So all you do is pop these guys in. You get a weak fireplace. Hooray! It's not the strong variant, and by strong variant, I mean this one right here. So the difference between this is that I can't punch this fireplace out. Oh, I accidentally did? No. Cool. Beautiful. It's very hard to punch out this fireplace. It's a legendary fireplace. So we're going back to creative mode to show you how fireplaces can be used. This has been recently updated, so fireplaces now set blocks on fire when they are uh, summoned in the world, as you can see. You can't put them out, as long as they exist, they'll keep being lit. Of course, there is the, nor the normal way you put out fire, by suffocating it with sand. As you can see, the fireplace is not dead. Also, due to the fragile nature of these fireplaces, they would only cost two sticks. What do you expect? You could punch out the fire, but you won't get back the fireplace. Oh, we have a little shrine here, made uh, before the fireplace update. Which basically, you just pop in a fireplace here. And there you go, you have a nice looking altar there. But due to the nature of this, the fireplace is no longer safe. So it'll spread slowly. Or not at all, I don't recall if fire spreads on. I'm just gonna put that lock there. Just to speed it up. It's cooking. Mmm. The smell of fire. You can also use it on villagers, as you can see. This is the gambler NPC we have in my server, who has two unique potions. I'm not going to show you what they do, but he has a little fireplace here. Fireplaces, as you may not as you may not know, are based off the Terraria fireplaces. So if you're nearby, they'll give a brief burst of regen that'll heal you up. It's been carefully calculated to have the maximum potential. Oh god, this is on fire. Oh no. So yeah, please be more careful while placing your fireplaces, otherwise you'll uh, um, run out of fire. And uh, existence, also. Also existence. So let's, what do you do if you have a rogue fire? Well, there's a few options. First off, you can uh, put it out by using a sand block, like demonstrated. However, in case you lack sand, you could also suffocate the fire by putting it in water. As you can see, the fire is suffocated, but it's a pretty powerful fire. As you can see, you need to keep it suffocated for quite a while before anything actually does happen. You'll find out when it's suffocated when there's a little burst as the last embers die off and... Now. Now? Now. There you go. Of course, these fireplaces are quite weak. You, you could easily punch them out, and surprisingly, you can, you get you, you you each time you place down a fireplace, place it down in the corner of adjacent. So yeah, it's interesting because you can't place these on corners for some reason. They spawn directly in the middle, no matter what. So really useful, really useful. Standing next to multiple fireplaces doesn't stack the regen. It's not going to work. So yeah. Let's suffocate these fireplaces really quickly. Of course, due to the nature of the fireplaces, they'll occasionally extinguish, but they'll be right back. Just make sure to put them out with sand if you want the fastest recovery. 
Water works, but it's too slow. Always use sand if it's available. Always, always. Now let's go check on our structure. Oh. Oh no. Oh. So yeah, this is the small fireplace update. Basically makes all place fireplaces a little bit more volatile. Hopefully there is none in someone's house made of wood. Please keep all caution when using fireplaces in your world. As expected, if you put a fireplace somewhere like random, it's 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 probably not wise at all. And keep it away from TNT. TNT is quite volatile fireplaces. This is the weak variant. There is also the stronger variant as I showed you in the house. And yeah, that's basically it for today. This tree is completely... F this uh, little monument is completely dead. And the fire bat is still there. Still burning. He's an eternal wisp of two-dimensional flame. And he is dead. What the fuck? Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, everyone.